My friends, welcome back to another Unisport video. We have with us today, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. What's up, man? How's it going, man? You okay? I'm doing great. Good. I'm doing great. Life is good. The people want to know about goals. You know about goals. You're clutch. So we're going to get in today, maybe a little bit of a masterclass on how to score more goals and what it takes to be a good striker, sure. as well as how you train out the field and maybe a little bit of what you did while younger, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's start this off from the beginning. What do you think are your best qualities as a striker and how do you show those in the game? My best qualities, I would say my aerial ability. Okay. Um, heading, scoring goals. All right. Uh, battling with the defenders. Yes. Uh, my athleticism. All right. Uh, my speed in yeah. behind defenses. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'd okay. Say. Perfect. So now, given all that, so I'm not that good in the air. I know you're, okay, you're up here. I get that. So that's probably something. But being good in the air isn't just being tall. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything. There's also positioning. There's all sorts of stuff going on like that. So let's start it with a cross. If I'm out here wide, goal's right here behind us. What's the first thing going through your head when you're trying to get positioning, get something? Is the, the defender's here? Like what? Break it down. As a defender, I'd be here. If a cross okay. is coming from here. Yeah. How are you positioning yourself to make sure you win? because I don't want you to get this goal. How do you set it up? So for me here, the ideal position would be if the ball's over there, right. I need to get myself in a position where you can't see me and the ball okay. at the same time. Right, so you, this is ideal for you. Yeah. So I can't follow you. I want to be on your outside shoulder because as soon as you look at the ball, right. you can't see me. All right, right. And then that's when I would make my movement. Okay, okay. So when obviously the, the, the cross is coming and the guy's put his head down and you know mm -hmm. it's coming in, are you looking to go first post normally, drop back? How do you determine where you run? Because it's like, we see these crosses come in and it's like, uh -huh. how is it, how are you finding? How are they finding you? What's going on? Well, I guess there's different different factors. It depends who's on the ball out wide sure. crossing. Yeah. Because uh, they might have a preferred, yeah, whether yeah. they like to dink it out to the back stick sure. or whip it across the front. And you know that, um, yeah. So yeah, you, I guess you practice that in training. Sure. So that, that comes in and I guess, whether it's a little bit deeper or a little mm. bit higher. Mm. If mm. they're going right to the byline, chances are they're either going to cut it back or dink it to the back post. Sure, 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 sure. Um, so yeah. Okay. And you, you talked about their athleticism. Obviously you're good in the air, yeah, right? And so well, I want to bring it back to a goal you scored against Crystal Palace, right? Mm -hmm. Which showed a lot of that athleticism right there because the ball came in right in the exact position, right? So if we relive that goal, let's see how, let's see your memory. Let's see how much you, you're <laughs> yeah, here. So, so you're, here. you're about here. Yeah. The ball comes into you here. You yeah. did what? First touch. Yes. Pass the defender. Yes. You kind of hit that guy right there. Boom. And then the you net. placed it in there, yeah. right? So before the ball came into you there, did you know that you were going to take this touch? Because that's everybody's always talking about decision making. How do mm -hmm. I know which decisions? How did you determine what to do? That's what a lot of young players, they see that and like, right, how did you know you could do that? Right? Yeah. So I guess you can. I guess there was a, an element of, of instinct. Mm. Um, but I think it's like repetition. The more you get in those areas and the more you, you know, get trained and, and, sure. and you're in those areas, the more natural it comes. So okay. I guess for me, I tried to, I tried to actually nutmeg him. Yeah, I saw, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you still had a battle yeah, though yeah. with so, him. He fell and yeah. now you're in, right? And I think it was a case of recognizing the space in behind him early. Sure. Um, so then that allowed me to take my first touch past him. Right. And his body weight was this way. Sure. And it kind of froze him and I okay. managed to get around him. Tell me something then too, as a big guy here, this is something that players are always having to deal with. Like you with your size, right? A lot of guys are probably gonna play the ball into you. Mm -hmm. I as a midfielder would love, it's great when you have a guy that you know can hold the ball up. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that just real quickly. I mean, if you do have your back to goal, yeah. how are you worried about things? The ball's just come into you now. You have you have your option of, I could lay it off, but yeah. you also have your option to turn. What do you think about when you wanna to turn to try and shoot and goal and, and, and score? What do so, you- I'd say primarily, primarily mm -hmm. you want to feel feel where you are. Right. So you want to be able to feel the defender. Sure. And if the ball's coming in here, mm. if I position myself like this, right. you and, know and mainly it's, it's my backside. I see. So I you see. sit into it like I this, see. I see. and that's where the power comes from. Right. And that allows me to either drag this way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. or, or keep it here and shield the ball. Right, right. And there's uh, one thing I want to I touch, touch on here is because what if you don't know if the goal or if the defender is going to be there? Like if you're receiving a pass, uh -huh. have you checked before? Because sometimes maybe as a defender, they'll do funny things like, yeah, yeah. I'll start here, yeah. the pass comes in, maybe I drop off for yeah. a second, or I'll come as soon as you touch the ball. How do uh -huh. you handle that? You stiffen your body? Like, how are you handling all the different yeah, types? Yeah, so it's, I guess it comes down to awareness first and foremost. Mm. So as the ball's traveling, sure. you know, you want to check to see where you are. Yeah. But then you might be there. Yeah. And as soon as I go like this, yeah. you might be tight. Boom. Right. So I guess you've got to kind of be prepared for for both. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Try and scan as late as possible. Okay. To see That's what's around. Too. Yeah. And then 
always focus on your first touch. Okay. Because if your first touch is good, it doesn't matter what you do. Of course, right. You know, I'm, I'm in control of the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay, last last thing there, uh, train off the the game pitch, let's say, you know, and, and not on game days. As a striker, what things would you focus on? What's the most biggest thing? And what did you focus on when you were a little bit younger, you know, to try and get to where you're at now? I mean, clearly you said repetitions are important. Mm -hmm. Repetitions of what? Do I just go out to the field and, you know, yeah. it's so nice, you just go out to the field, you just wanna just do that. Did you yeah. do that or is there? I did, I mean, I spent a lot of time with just me and the ball. Okay. Um, sounds a, a little bit cliche. Taking shots, um, alone, dribbling, like what's so specific? So I, I spent a lot of time kicking the ball at the wall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, funny. Taking for enough. your first touch or Yeah, yeah, mainly first touch because the ball uh, the wall, you know, always gives you the ball back as hard as you yeah. as yeah. hard as you kick it. Right. So it's a great way to, to train your first touch in my okay. opinion. Okay. And wow. Uh, and if there's a wall here and a wall here, right. you know, you can practice playing. Turn. Playing. Yeah. Playing. And yeah. just repeat, repeat, repeat. Over and over again. Um, and that helps that train is, your first touch. Yeah, that is something else. You got a favorite skill by chance? You got a little a little something you a little something in the, in the kitchen, a little Something special that yeah, you I like guess. to do or Maybe. something? No? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. When you're one-on-one? -on -one? I mean, if you don't, I mean, even if it's ah, something- one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, even if it's not not something flashy, it's something to score. Because, right, I mean, at the end of the day, you're looking at goals. Uh -huh. No matter how many step-overs some guy does, that doesn't uh -huh. put points on the board, right? Yeah. So do you have anything that you kind of go to if we were to look at your tape, we would say, all right, he's constantly turning here and uh -huh. looking there. Do you have something like well, that? Well, I guess my highlight reel is a lot of one-touch finishes uh, in the box. Okay. <laughs> okay. But if you was to ask me yeah. if I'm to freeze you up, mm. um, I'm probably more of a, you know, one step over. One step over, max quick because, release. Yeah, sim keep it simple and effective. Mm, mm, um, yeah. Because I'm usually moving at pace. Sure, sure. So it's just a case of working. All you need is half a yard. Exactly. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, something that's in the box. Im important for young players to know, right? You yeah. see all the stuff happening, but of course. it's like at the end of the day, when, when the game Simple is over. Simple and effective because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the ball in the net. That's it. So right. whether yeah. it's just a little shoulder drop, you know, yeah. just to get yourself a, a half bit. a yard and then finish. Yeah, yeah. I love it. My friends, you guys, today we have talked about exactly what you need to do to score goals, how to, how to be good in the air. Check the links right down below, subscribe, like this video, and we will see you guys later. Appreciate nice it, man. man. Thank yeah. you.